Well, feeling refreshed, let me tell you. Took a, took a shower. Didn't realize that my hotel room even has a bathrobe, which might sound weird to you, but I'm like, whoa, a bathrobe? So yeah, Whew. good times. Hold on. So we are walking down from the hotel, and hopefully I took the right route because I wanted to swing down to the the, the port itself. Uh, there's a seafood restaurant I want to try. It's right on the water. It's funny, a lot of these uh, streets, they remind me a little bit of um, of uh, 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 Astuni in uh, the region of Puglia. I feel like I have to be a goat. Oh my god. It's the Elton John house. Look. Small parking right here. You know, I was going to say, note, you don't see a lot of like um, big cars in this area. Rightfully so. I better not see like an F 450 rumbling down. So here's a little bit of a view. There's a, a storm coming in right now. But look at this. Again, this is why I wanted to come here. I love just being on the water. When I landed on the plane, it was it was just it was a little bit surreal because all you would get or all I could get was the smell. There's the old fortress. Rainstorms coming in. Well, and the sun sets like it already set. <laughs> it's four o'clock. <laughs> it's actually four fifteen. But look at this right here. Look how beautiful this little harbor is. So you got the harbor, all the boats are in. But then look, they got nice little lights all set up. And hopefully, God willing, we won't get too much of a glare. And we'll get some nice uh, filming. I was just looking at the menu for this old courthouse pub. It's very cute. Um, right on the water. But place I want to go to is a little bit farther down. Now, one thing, and I can't say it's very British because even though this uh, falls under the protection of the British, and that's it, um, I like how the, all these harbors are very much the same. You can see how these boats are all pretty much protected from anything. Now, granted, the water is low right now. We've got low tide. But it's neat. You can see the uh, chains. And then do you see the ladders right here on the side? <laughs> That's the Ellington house. It's interesting. I'm like, why are there so many people out? And I'm like, because it's Boxing Day. Really, there aren't that many people out. It just feels like it for me. Now we're coming up to the Salty Dog. I should really have... Um... <laughs> I should have booked. My, I should have written down where I wanted to eat. Is it the salty dog? Well, I don't know. It looks it looks closed tonight, if you ask me. Which is too bad because the salty dog had some mussels, which is what I was looking for. All right. Well, we might be going back to the other place then. When then we got the muddy duck. Look at this cute, cute sign right here. What a cute little town. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I did find the place I wanted to go to, but it was too loud inside, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, <laughs> which is funny. It had nothing to do with the people. It was the, uh, it was the music itself. But look at this right here. Look at these. I love this time of year. See the nice lights? Beautiful. So I think what we're going to do, I want to check out this boathouse right here, see if they have anything. Uh, and if not, we're going to go back to that first place we saw and grab a bite to eat over there. Check this out before we go inside. Actually, we might even just eat, eat, eat outside, but look at this view. And you can see the hotel where I'm staying at because it's got the nice lights. The uh, church in the middle is a Methodist church. It was locked, but you, they have a, 
that they shine a little, a little cross uh, up there for people to see. Well, uh, I'm still walking. <laughs> I went into that one place. They don't actually start serving food until five. And so I went and I cut across to um, that Muddy Duck place because I thought it looked cute. And I heard music. I actually heard uh, some Mariah Carey. I was like, oh my God, this is my place. And then I went in and it's a private party. I'm like, what? That sucks. So I have no idea what time it is now. So I'm going to, I guess I'm going back to the boathouse where I walked away from all the way over there. It's really not that far. It's like not far at all. But uh, I'm going to go back over there and I guess just wait. But, uh, you know, this is what happens when you travel during the holidays and depending on where you are. I mean, people have to celebrate too. <laughs> but uh, it's all good. It's all good. Well, I decided these lights were calling to me and I said, hey, we need to check this out first before we do anything. So look at this. So that's, we are going to eat at the boathouse right here because I know everyone was concerned about that. And look what they did though, which is really cool. Everything's lit up. I don't know why I'm pointing up this high because, well, yeah, I'm pointing right up here. But it's lit up all the way around. So you can follow the beach and go to St. Helier. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is the capital of, uh, of Jersey. Population 110,000 people. Um, saw some runners out here. I got a little jealous, but we'll, we'll, we'll hit this route tomorrow morning. It really does feel like so warm. It's funny to me. It's like, it's, uh, it's, it's comfortable. Like, I don't really need this coat. I have it on because it's supposed to rain, but. So we're going to try this again. One thing that always puzzles me, this is about any, this is in Ireland, this is in Poland, this is in Great Britain, it's everywhere. It confuses me about like the places where you have to go up to pay and then other places where they come to you uh, when you get your meals. I have not figured it out yet and I can't really tell on the establishment as well. The only thing I know is that this place starts serving food at five. So we're watching some football right now. We saw the, the Bournemouth game. They won 3 0. Uh, drinking my Peroni. And I'm just waiting for um, the meals don't start to get served until 5 30. And that's when we will uh, order not many, not much seafood actually. We're going to do some meat dishes today. And then we'll hit some seafood for the rest of the trip. But this is a cute little pub. Uh, it's a cute little pub. This is the outside part. You go further in, it's very uh, homey and comfortable, and they have some outdoor seating as well. So this is a smoked bacon and cheddar croquette. So here goes. I don't need it. It's a little chili sauce. Oh. Actually, really good. So again, it's a croquette. All right, so now look, it's the real meal. We've got our liver and our potatoes and our bacon. Yum, yum. As we're listening to them in the background, I'm sure this will be something fun to add. Mashed potatoes. It's delicious. And now this is the liver, Jersey liver. We just finished up at the old courthouse. It was good. It's a good meal. I <laughs> I have a thing for liver and the onions, so it was a good choice. And now uh, I'm going to go back to the hotel and call it a night. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, walk. Brief walk around uh, St. Oban or Aubin? Oban. Yeah. <laughs> and as you see, everything's lit really well. Not really. So, anyway, uh, till our next time, guys. And uh, thanks for coming along.
Peace. I'll leave you with this view on this now rainy night here in St. Obo. <laughs> So uh, until our next trip uh, from the Somerville.